In the last episode of Soap, Danny and Bert got the ransom money. And after the kidnappers get it, hopefully Elaine will get home. Corinne has learned she's five months pregnant, which she doesn't get, because she and Tim only got married last month, and no one got near her before that. Detective Donahue told Jessica that although he loves her, he'll get Chester back for her. But then he'll get her away from Chester. Jody thought he was getting married and got jilted instead. Don't get it? You will after tonight's episode of Soap. This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and Mary Campbell. These are the Tates. And these are the Campbells. And this is so. $50,000 in a paper bag. This is crazy. Come on, now. we better rehearse the drop. You go sit down, pretend you're us. I'll pretend I'm them. I don't have to pretend I'm us. I am us. Well, I'm some of us. I'm part of us. I'm half of us. Oh, sit down. Well, we need another bag. I brought a rehearsal bag. <laughs> don't forget it. Take the switch. Perfect. Except one thing. What? You took the wrong bag. <laughs> No one likes you. Dave likes me. Oh, yeah? Then why do you think he's making the switch and you're driving? The minute he gets the money, he's going to be out the back door of the museum and off to Acapulco without you. You're nuts. Here's your lunch. What is it? Pastrami. I hate pastrami. I hate you. Can I have your pickle? Buy your own pickle. Ready? A couple more pages. Well, we got about a half hour to get into the city and switch the bags. Let's go. I want to make the switch. Mel, get real. You drive, I switch, that's how we planned it. I want to pick up the money. Forget it. I don't pick up the money, I don't go. Okay, that's it. What are you doing? You want to... Mel, abroad, she's getting away. Stop her. Yo, lady. Stop her. <laughs> Not that way. Let's go get the money and get out of here. Mel, forget that pickle! <laughs> One answer is so depressing. Would you like some more coffee? No, thanks. I wonder if I could be a securities analyst. Would you like some toast? No, thanks. I wonder what a securities analyst is. Tim, how would you like a baby? No, thanks. <laughs> Tim, you didn't hear a word I said. I'm sorry, honey. I was looking for a job. What is it? I said, how would you like a baby? A baby? Yeah. I love a baby. I really would. But later. Not now, okay? Well, I didn't mean right this minute. It takes a little while. Honey, we'll have a baby. We'll have lots of babies. But later, when, when I have a job and we have our own place, that would be the time to have a baby. Now it wouldn't be. Now is. What? We're going to have a baby. We are? We're pregnant? Well, I am. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. Sit down. Now, let's stand up. How do you feel? You shouldn't be drinking coffee. God, 
I'm so excited, a baby. That's why you've been eating like an animal. <laughs> it's a sign, honey. A baby, our own baby. Oh, boy, I can't wait. You won't really have to. <laughs> a baby. We're going to have a baby. There's just a little something else. <laughs> what? I'm, uh, five months pregnant. Five months? Well, that would mean it. Corinne! Tim, I didn't. I swear it, there was no one, absolutely no one. Corinne, what you're suggesting only happened once before. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that? What I mean to tell you is that I've never been unfaithful to you. After Peter died, there was no one until we were married. I swear it, Tim. You don't believe me. How can I? Because it's the truth. If it were reversed, if it was me, would you believe it? No. Tim, what are you going to do? I don't know. Mary, Mary, we did it. They got the money and the, the cops are following the guy who picked it up. Where's Elaine? They say she'll be here by 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Jody call? Yeah, he sounded OK. He said he might drop by later. All right. Hi, guys. Uh, Hey, Bob and I have been working on a new act. We thought you might like to see it. Oh, uh, fellas, please, we're not really in the mood now. I just kind of needed the practice. I thought maybe it might break the tension around here. The trick is our reading lines. Oh, come on. Well, it's true, I do. Come on, Chuck, do your stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Okay, yeah. Danny, take something, anything, hold it up in front of Bob. <laughs> It's, uh, round. It's, uh, uh, glass. It's an ashtray. He's peeking. He's got to be peeking in there. No, 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 no. I can't see a thing. I swear. All right, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Oh. What's that? Okay, 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 I got it. It's, uh... It's, uh, red. It's round. It's an apple bat! This is amazing! <laughs> Do you know what kind of a gold mine we got here? Bert, Chuck can see what you're holding up. But Bob can't! <laughs> Danny, don't you get it? No. <laughs> How'd you do it? Oh, well, he can't tell. Oh, come no, on, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Come on, tell me. Is there a trick involved? No. <laughs> I know, Bert. Beg your pardon? <laughs> I know. You know what? I know about your affair. I know. Then you are having one. No. <laughs> Bert, you just admitted it. I admitted to knowing that you know, but <laughs> I didn't have any affair. OK, Bert. The night you didn't come home, the night you said a plane landed on the highway. <laughs> If you are not having an affair, where were you really on that night? I was, uh, at the, the woman's apartment. Oh, I hate you. Oh, so what's this? You can and I can't? Well, let me tell you something, Mary. What's good for the goose, the gander can have a hell of a good time with, too. <laughs> what are you 
you talking about Goose? I know. What? I know about you and your professor. What about me and my professor? What about you and your professor? Let me put it this way, Mary. Now I know why they call it adult education. <laughs> You're crazy. I saw you. You saw? What? I came home early, opened the door, and I saw you and your professor on the couch going at it pretty good. He attacked me. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see me because you were so busy. I left and I got drunk and I did the same thing you did. He attacked me. What? He attacked me and I threw him out. That is what you walked in on, you big dope. <laughs> An attack? Yes. Uh, not an affair, an attack? Yes. They look the same. So, you mean because of what you thought you walked in on, you went out and slept with someone? <laughs> no. No, no, I just said that so you would tell me that you were. Bert, are you lying to me? Oh. <laughs> Mary, I thought you were having an affair. I mean, you understand me? I did it because I was hurt and, and angry and drunk, not because I wanted to. Uh, who is she? That's not important. I want to know. Mary, it's meaningless. It's over. Did you have a nice time? I don't know. You don't know? I don't remember. It was one night. I don't even remember it. And I never did it again. So what difference does it make who it was? She's skinny. Come on, Mary. I... I have to know that. Is she skinny? I don't know. No, I think. I don't think she was. I think she wasn't. In fact, I think she was obese. In fact, I think she was grotesque. Is she young? Come on, Mary, please. She's mentioned something about voting for Coolidge. That's. <laughs> Mary, I'm sorry, but when I thought about you and your professor, I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to die, but I did that instead. But so it's not like I really did it. Maybe you didn't mean to do it, but you did do it. Only because I thought you did it. You could have asked. Oh, sure, I could have come in, pulled the two of you apart and said, pardon me, are you doing it? <laughs> Mary, please. I... Look, Mary, I only know one thing. That what we have is more important to me than anything else in the world. And to let it end because of some dumb, stupid mistake, Mary, that's wrong. It's a waste. Mary, please. Mary, you gotta forgive me. I'll try, Burden. What can I say except I'll, I'll try? I love you, Mayor. I really do. You want me to get in? If you don't mind. Afternoon. Afternoon. Detective Donahue. Hello, Mrs. Tate. No, thanks. I'll just hold on to it. You're very late. Sorry I'm late, but I was arrested. Arrested? Yeah. Oh, Benson, can I get a scotch? No. Thank you. Save my liver. Arrested? Yeah, I was walking down East 48th Street. Saw a man about six feet tall with a bandage around his head. I was sure it was your husband. I called him to stop. He started running. I chased after him, finally wrestled him to the ground. Turned out to be the ambassador from India. Detective Donahue. You can call me George. George? It's my name, George. George, uh, this was not an easy decision to make, but I've decided to fire you. Because I was late? Boy, are you strict. I'll be on time tomorrow, I promise. 
Not because of that. It's because of the way I feel about you, huh? Me and my big mouth. I'd like to rip out my tongue. Of course, then every time I talked, I'd sound like an idiot. Mm, it's because of how I feel. Probably can't even eat without a tongue. I feel about you the way you feel about me. And of course, French kissing would definitely be. <laughs> what? What'd you say? I'm afraid I feel the same way you do. Well, that's great. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. Why is it terrible? Because I'm married and I love my husband. Well, I can understand. I mean, I can understand that. There's probably nothing I can do. Huh? Is there anything I can do? <laughs> well, then, some other time, some other place, some other world, whatever. Wait. What? I just hate to see you leave. Well, it doesn't thrill me either. I'm so confused. Do you think that it's possible for a woman to care for two men? My mother did. She did? No, but I'll say anything right now. You see, I have one man here that I care for who is actually here to look for the other man I care for who is not here. And then, of course, I mean, uh, if you find him, then I will have both men here that I care for. But, I mean, if you leave, then I won't have either man here, you see, that I care for. You see? Maybe. I just don't know what to do. I have a suggestion. Unfire you? Right. Okay. I have another suggestion. What? About a little kiss. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Just a little peck on uh, the cheek. Uh, 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 uh. Just a little one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. A little peck on the cheek, you won't feel a thing. Be like a fly landing. <laughs> Okay. Nope, nothing in your ear. <laughs> Benson, how about Pepsi? No, thanks. Valuable man, Benson. I wish there were a million more like him. There are. Would you like to stay for dinner? Hey, that sounds like a... Uh... No, I don't think so. <laughs> probably just take the train, go down to the city, and get back on this case. Say, uh... Are you sure about uh, me? Yes. Okay. Gonna find your husband. See ya. See ya. I beg your pardon. Sit down. What for? We've got to have a little talk. About what? About Mrs. Tate. What about her? What in the hell do you think you're doing? Doing? Don't you think she's been through enough without having to deal with you? I love her. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, I don't have to take this stuff from you. Yes, you do. And let me tell you something else you got to do. What's that? Watch out for me. Because if you cause her one moment of grief, I'm coming after you, detective. Now, let me tell you something. That woman's smile is the best thing that's happened to me in 10 years. And if you think for one moment I'm going to let a little bit of grief touch that smile, you're crazy. You still want that scotch? Sure. Good, make two. I'll have one with you. <laughs> I hate waiting. Me too. So do I. For anything. It's her! It's Elaine! It's Jody. It's Jody. <laughs> that happy to see me. I'm sick. We were waiting for Elaine. How are you? I'm fine, fine. I thought I'd come over and wait with you. You're okay? Yeah. You're sure? Positive. I'm a little depressed. That's what I thought. Mm. Hey, it's, uh, it's reasonable to be depressed. You just got jilted. <laughs> it's very depressing. Of course it is. Anyone would be a little depressed. Hey, I'd be devastated. Actually, I'm depressed and devastated. That's normal. I mean, this thing has completely put me away, Ma. I can't stand it. I'm depressed and devastated. So how you doing, Jody? You feeling OK? <laughs> fine, fine. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. Listen, I uh, 
I changed the room into a sewing room, but I'd love to change it back. I mean, I never sew, and uh, every time I pass it, it makes me feel guilty. So why don't you move back in? I know what you're thinking. But I wouldn't have to sew. It'd be wonderful. I hate sewing. I'm not going to kill myself. Did I say that? Did you hear me say anything about killing? I mentioned sewing, not killing. Ma, I'm going to be OK. I promise I'm not going to kill myself. <laughs> Elaine. I made it. Elaine. Oh, God, she's been shot. I'll call an ambulance. I made it. I'm home. Shh, don't talk, babe. Save your strength. I love you, Danny. Do you know that I love you? I know. Do you really know? Yes. Now don't talk. Please rest. You have made me so happy. Shh. Shh. I had to get back to tell you I didn't want to die without telling you. You're not dying, Elaine. You're not dying. Do something. Somebody, please, do something! I'll call the ambulance. Yeah. They'll get here as soon as they can. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I love you, Elaine. I love you. Do you know that? Yes. I've always loved you. Not always. 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 Even when you called me Yutz, even then I loved you. I never meant it. I know. I know, silly. I know. Don't be sad, Danny. I don't want you to be sad. Don't talk. Please, Elaine, save your strength. Save your strength. Because it's all right. It's all right. I'm home. You've got to save your strength, Elaine. Don't talk. I'll talk. Let me talk. I love you. I love you. And you're home now. And you're going to be fine. I promise, Elaine, you're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. I am fine. Now. You're going to be fine, Elaine. You've got to be. Please, please, please be fine. Elaine. Elaine. It's all right now, Elaine. You're home. Isn't it hard to believe that Elaine is dead? Does Mary really believe, Bert, that it was one night with an old fat lady? Does Jessica believe she can be in love with two men at the same time? What will Tim do since he doesn't believe Corinne? Do you blame him for not believing Corinne? Would you believe Corinne? These questions and many others will be answered on the next episode of Soap. Soap is videotaped before a studio audience. 